as is always, Kajunju! Welcome to the Applebee's. We got spicy memes on special all day today because it is Spicy Friday. Can you believe it? Hey, if you've never seen one of these, it's a roundup of my favorite nonsense from all over the place. I've rounded it up all week long. Some of these y'all have sent me. I usually save the spiciest until the end, or at least my pick for the spiciest, but the ending this week is just my favorite. I've got spice all the way through here. Your job is to tell me which one you think the spiciest is. The comment section is always a lot of fun. It's Spicy Friday. We're doing it right after the jump. All right, guys, here we go. Bespoke Post is the sponsor of today's video. Bespoke Post is a monthly club for, you know, it's for guys, and they give a darn about the stuff that they put in these boxes. Boxception. I saw this on the internet like three hours ago, surviving the great outdoors. Paracord. They find good stuff out there from smaller companies, and I do appreciate that. How awesome is that? It's like a Skinner. It's a good day, y'all. Oh, that is gorgeous. I'll have a link down below. When you check out for your first box, use code JohnnyB20. You're going to get 20% off your first box. This is awesome. Kind of like a retro old school tool chest, but man, that is gorgeous. All right, that was a lot of fun. Every box is gonna be about $45, but you're gonna get at least $70 in value. And when you get over to bespokepost.com, take their quiz. They're gonna ask you some questions and then dial a box in for exactly your interest. So the link again is right down below. Be sure to use that coupon code when you head over to bespokepost.com. All right, to each of y'all, thank you for every thumbs up. Y'all absolutely crush that thumbs up every episode. Y'all are fantastic. Love you. Mean it. Thanks so much. Also, yesterday on the Thursday Buzz, I mentioned that something happened in Washington, Washington D.C. It actually happened in Washington State, and everybody, including Kevin, had to type it all out and tell me all about it. Yeah, I made a mistake. Y'all can't control me, but I do like being accurate in my nonsense. Washington State, not Washington, Washington D.C. We're doing this no matter what. One take. Next. Saki reassures inflation completely under control outside of food, gas, and housing. What an administration. I'm not chasing it. Next, how it started. How it's going. You can't make this up, like literally can't make up this week. This week was just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Next, not a funny meme. This one's got me thinking. Danger, they are conditioning you to view your freedom as selfish. Well, why would you want to carry a Rudy Tootie? That's just dangerous for the kids. Why would you, if you have nothing to hide, why are, why are you worried about the Patriot Act? Next, the US dollar, the price of goods and services. That's not Photoshopped Rosalind Carter, who's I think 93 and still kicking, doing great. But uh, she, some people said that she looked like a, uh, a mannequin or a, what are the ventriloquist dolls? What are they called? I don't know. She's little, kind of like the U.S. dollar right now. Thanks, Biden. Next, drowning the Colonial Pipeline cyber attack. The U.S. federal agencies <laughs> playing with the pronouns. G. Next. Next. <laughs> we need an adult around here. <laughs> Next. Lauren Boebert says this, why has Joe Biden not dispatched his secret weapon to solve the gas shortages? The man's son was paid 180 grand a month for his expertise in this field in the Ukraine and we're not gonna utilize that skill set? Come on, man. Drama Llama, go! All right, Candace Owen says this. Next, if I've learned anything from this last year, it's that most adults think like children and believe the government is their mother and father. That's true. The government says we can take our masks off now. It's the government. They said so. The CDC guidelines. Next. From the Babylon Bee, Kamala starting to worry Biden will fully destroy America before she even gets a chance. 
Next, also from the B, Army Dog Tags will now list soldiers' pronouns. I think that might be the spiciest of the week. There's a couple in there. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. But that one just hits, and I'm like, ooh, ooh, hmm, Babylon B. By the way, y'all can stop sending me Babylon B. I follow them. I get Babylon B. I probably get 30 a day from you people. I love getting, but send something else. Keep the, keep the, de the emails, keep the DMs on Instagram coming. But my Lord, I follow the Babylon B. They, they'll post something funny, and it's just like, like, it's like Buddy the Elf sending snowballs to those kids in Central Park. I'm in love, and I don't care who knows. <laughs> Next. Dr. A says this, I have 1,000 Mars bars in my fridge, and my mate has one in his. I pressured him into giving his to a homeless person. This is how celeb charity appeals work. That's good. Oh, that's good. Give your one away. The whole idea of, about, I've been thinking a lot about this lately, is guilt like it is it is they are in the left is in the business of guilt save the turtles don't drink out of the straw in Appalachia that rainwater that's going on it's raining right now that rainwater ain't going to the ocean can't take my straw from me my pal's cup next I'm spicy I was spicy yesterday I was a little little fierce yesterday I went back and watched that episode whoo if you didn't see yesterday's episode I was a little salty little salty Next, Lena says this, oh, you're a child sniffing fan? Name three of his complete sentences. You, uh, uh, you, 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 know, you, know the, you know the thing? Next, AP says, please, when are we going to normalize coughing again? <laughs> I was in Lowe's or something the other day. <coughs> <coughs> it's going to be nice to cough one day. Next, this is from Grand Old Memes. I, I assume it's a he. I have no idea, but but they, G, posted this the other day. It's fantastic. That's already on T-shirts, and that has just been everywhere. That's clever. It's good stuff. It's how I feel. It's a it's a. I'm not good because I went to county high school. Is it a is it a is it a metaphor? I don't know. Is that a metaphor for his administration? Is it onomatopoeia? Is it a homily or a simile? I don't know. I, I didn't do well in English at the old Daniel Boone High School. Go Blazers. And that's not a joke. People, people do not believe I went to Daniel Boone High School. Our cross-county rivals were, anyone, anyone? Yep, David Crockett High School. Old Davy Crockett High School. The Pioneers. Can't stand the Pioneers. Still can't stand the Pioneers. Next. <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorites. Me and the boys going to get some gas tomorrow. All shiny and chrome. Witness me. What a movie. Holy smokes, what a movie. What happened? Yeah, they drove down there and then drove back. But I liked it. Next, you don't have to put on the red light. Roxanne. <laughs> Next, Infrared Savage. I don't recommend a lot of people's Instagrams to y'all. Grand old memes, ooh, ooh, good stuff. Infrared's a little, 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 like, like the language is a little, ooh, ooh. but he's funny. I'm selling $50 sacks of unleaded gas. <laughs> Next. Cat Turd says this. Let me get this straight. The Colonial Pipeline was hacked by people in Russia, but not Russia. Colonial decided within hours to pay the $5 million in ransom, and it still took a week to get back online, and nobody on planet Earth knows who the hackers are? <coughs> Bullcrap. <coughs> I ain't buying it either. Ain't buying it. Next, Mr. Gunzagir posted this today. That's kind of what it's come to. Some chads out there in cargo shorts protecting that gas. Next, capitalism has failed. Yeah, some edgy 14-year-old who lives here said that. It's true. Those people on blogs living in... I mean, there's people talking about capitalism failed typing on $5,000 MacBooks. But what do I know? My favorite of the week. Oh, I love this so much. I've been giggling about it. It's not spicy, but I think it is funny. Next, Gary out here with the power stance. That's some dad level power stance, power socks, and power sandals. Hey, I hope each of y'all have a power stance of a weekend. Brand new concealed carry for me. Just got this one in the 509C from FN in peanut butter. 
to anyone that's against us or our rights to look at stupid memes or carry what we want or own whatever we want and not be our governmental mother or father. Yep, from my cold, dead hands. Happy weekend, y'all. Bye.